My mom ran over my intake cover. Well, just to clarify, it was not her fault, but it is a little unfortunate because I just got this thing done. Uh, at least I can't complain that it looks too nice for the truck now because it's it kind of matches the rest of the truck. It does look ugly now, so. Okay, so I took the intake cover off to work on my truck. I had a, a PCV valve, I don't know. Um, on the valve cover. I think it was getting stuck open and it was pulling oil into the intake. I don't know, I'll just show you guys real quick. It, I didn't film it cause it's kind of boring, but this is why I was working on it. And this is why I pulled the intake cover off and I think I fixed it though. All right, so that little backing hose right there, that goes to the PCV valve, I put on a new uh, valve cover. Well, this was my dad's, I just borrowed it. Instead of changing the valve, just to test and see if the, this one was gonna work. And I think it has. So what would happen is I would start it up and it would puff out some white smoke out of the exhaust and then it would go away. It never smoked, never did nothing. Just if it sat for hours and I started it, it would shoot smoke out, especially so cold mornings was basically the main thing. And when I pulled this off, I said it. Uh, probably like somewhere like right there. And there's still a tire mark on it from where it got ran over. What had happened was it was really cold outside. So I closed my hood up, went inside where it was warm mom goes to work the next morning she don't look behind her car because she don't need to because i shouldn't be setting intake covers behind her car and she ran it over so that's whatever well i got these screwed in i'm not gonna lie it's definitely a lot tighter to get to fit into place but that's all right it don't look too bad it's kind of cool it's got a tire mark on it but anyways i'll see if i have a clip of, I think I have videos of me starting it before and after and it's smoking and then not smoking.
today. Got a package. And I think I know what it is. I'm not sure. Some Jags. And looks like. install kit for my ring and pinion that's on the way. So there's something else I want to talk to you guys about. Um, you know how on this blue truck here, I stole the wheels off of it for my truck. Well, this is a short bed truck and I want my truck to be a short bed truck because why wouldn't I? And I have two options for that. The first one is to order a kit from brothers trucks and get my template and hack my frame apart cut my bed up and I'll have a short bed truck but it's kind of cut up and I don't know if that would make a whole lot of sense to do or I can take this truck pull the cab and front clip off So I already got the lowering kit that I want and get this frame ready to move my cab and front clip over to this frame. Then I would have a short bed truck, except the bed. I'd have to figure something out with that. But here, I'll show you something. There's nothing to this truck other than some parts. I don't need any of them, I just need the frame. So I'm thinking I could do a lot of suspension work on the front suspension, get some good shocks on it. Everything that I wanna do to my truck, I could do to this frame and then just move everything over to it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing because instead of spending the $500 on the short bed conversion kit and cutting mine up my frame up and everything and and doing all that extra work well this would be a lot more extra work but i could save that 500 dollars and put it into this truck into this frame and suspension and everything else put it somewhere else and i mean that heck that even saving 500 dollars to go towards the holly stuff i already got the money for the holly stuff but i'm just saying you know saves a lot of money in the long run and I'd have a short bed truck. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a little update on what's been going on. I have the rear end gear on the way. I'm really excited for it because that's gonna be one of the first kind of major upgrades that is, well, the transmission was a big one because that was, that was something that was just falling apart and it's made a big difference on how the truck drives, but the rear end gear is going to be something that's going to be kind of a big game changer. It's going to wake the truck up a lot. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And for you to know when I release that video, you got to subscribe and turn on post notifications and you'll see me unboxing that rear end gear um, and I'll put it in the truck. We'll see how it does. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.